In this video, I'm going to show you how to use do loops. Now, loops are the things that loop through code until some condition is met. So let's do that. Let's go over to the VBA screen, Alt F11. Let's see, Alt F11, there we go. And let's create a new loop. Let's say sub so loopy. New loop. Um, what do I want it to do? I need it to loop through some data here. Let's put in some data. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. There we go. I need it to loop through this data. So what do I want it to do? I want it to do this. Let's say do do loop. You always gotta loop your do. And I want it to do this. I want it to look to see if the cell is empty. So if um, is empty active cell then end my if let's stick an else in here if it's empty then exit do otherwise let's see active cell dot offset one column whoops dot value equals the length of the active cell dot value. Um, and I want to increment my active cell. So active cell dot offset one comma zero dot activate. So what's it going to do? It's going to say come into here and do the stuff until I exit. If my active cell is empty then go ahead and exit. Otherwise set the cell next to my active cell equal to the length of the value in my active cell and then go ahead and change my active cell to the next one down. So this should work. Let's hit play and find out. Watch the screen over here. And boom, it worked. And I'm done. So it put the length of John over here. That's four characters. Jacob's five, Jingle's six, etc. Now there's actually a more efficient way to do this. What we could do is just copy this right here. Control C. Do until active cell is empty. And then it doesn't have to check for all that. Get rid of this. And that should work. Let me delete this just to be sure. And hit play. Boom! It works. So it says do until the active cell is empty. This stuff. And then you're done, right? Okay, let's do one more here. It's called a do while. These are a little trickier. And I'm actually going to throw a, a failsafe in here. Let's say you get into a loop and it becomes an infinite loop. That means that the loop doesn't know when to quit. It's hard to get out of those unless you do what's called a do events. Oh, it's all one word, events. What this uh, little function does is it says, before I finish any code after this, check the processor. See if there are any other things in the queue waiting in line to be processed and go ahead and process them. So for example, if I'm stuck in an infinite loop and I can't get out, if I press Alt, Control, Function, uh, Pause, all those buttons, keep pressing them, eventually the processor is going to say, hey, there's something in the queue that needs to be processed. It says, oh, quit the loop. So you can escape these loops if they become infinite. So that's very handy. All right, so we're going to say do while, do while, active cell dot value does not equal nothing. This will actually work. We don't need the do events. I know this will work. Um, but it's always good to have a do events in a loop just in case. So let me hit play and there we have it. It went through and it says is it empty? Nope. Is it empty? Nope. And all the way down here it says is it empty? Yep. And it stopped. Those are do loops. Hope you enjoyed.